Hello everyone, Just Games, and welcome finally to F1 24. Let's go. We're going to do the driver career because that's obviously the uh, the game mode that has had the update. Um, now I am recording this part zero um, live, but once we get into the races, it'll be the usual format of uh, commentating over it. Now. I want to start in F2, just to prolong the series a little bit. I am happy with this, just for the three races that we're going to do in F2. Just to sort of get a little bit of a backstory going for our uh, for our driver, for us, even. And I'm so excited to work together to get to Formula 1. Now that we've introduced ourselves, you'll see that you now have a set of driver ratings. These will be tied to you for the entirety of your career and will track your progress. Yeah, okay, thank you. So basically, we've got our own driver stats now, which is uh, very cool. Um, very nice improvement. And as you can see here, we only get, by we only get one free helmet design, which is absolutely... There we go, here we are, the Academy. So we can either go none, which doesn't help any of us. Mercedes, which obviously is Williams, Aston Martin, and the Mercedes. The Ferraris, Red Bull, and then the Alpines and McLarens on their own. I want to do the Ferrari one, because I want to start in the uh, the kick, Sauber. Team to be Oliver Behrman, let's go. My G. And here we are. Oh, it's time for qualifying. Oh, good lord, I'm not prepared for this. Um... So yeah, it's been fun, live commentating, but now, it is time for, uh, for the things. As we now go to five red lights for the first time in Formula 2, it's five red lights are out, and away we go. We started on pole position, very surprisingly, as uh, we immediately lose it, so there's no point saying that. <laughs> We're down into third place now, as, uh, as Portia tries to uh, steal that from us, but no, 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 not today. Thank you very much. Now, this is the first sort of ever race I have done with, uh, with the new handling and on uh, F124 in general. Um, so, a lot of learning to do in this race and in this episode in general as we try to attack Iwasa. And that's how you pronounce it. Probably not though. Go around the outside but not qu quite making it, unfortunately. But it just shows that we do have the pace to attack. And, uh, and yeah. Lovely, jovely. Something new that is uh, new. <laughs> For uh, F124 replay, is uh, it actually uses the real um, car sounds instead of the uh, the fake ones. So yeah, if you just have a listen, it is the uh, the real the real car sounds, which is very nice as we uh, line ourselves up to overtake and get into second position, which is obviously ahead of third. As uh, we send it down the inside, very opportunistic move there. No contact made, very, very uh, smooth uh, overtake there under the braking. As, uh, as now we need to uh, we need to defend from Iwasa once again, but we should be able to uh, to do that. No problem. We give him a lot of room because uh, obviously we don't want to make contact. But around the outside. We manage to secure the position, do we? Yes, we do, which turns into the uh, the other side there. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. It's very smooth fade away into the, uh, the real time on board, I guess, as we go a little bit wide there. But the stewards don't say anything, so we will not worry about it. Um,. But yeah, around Jeddah we do have a lot of pace. It's one of my favourite circuits to race at, in all honesty, so I am very, very used to the circuit. As uh, we almost set the uh, the fastest lap, we're about 10th off the uh, fastest lap in total. As uh, DRS is now activated, 
Uh, which means, obviously, we can open up our rear wing for uh, some extra straight on speed. Which is lovely jubbly. <laughs> um, so yeah, trying our best to attack first. Maybe we can get the respin today. Who knows? Um, oh, a little bit with you. He would be a little bit you biffy there. Good lord. But if we don't get the race spin, I think at least a uh, a podium will be uh, in the uh, the mix for today, or for this race anyway, because we are doing three races today. Again, the uh, the entirety of F2 segment out of the way as we try to go for first position. But we uh, go very, very deep into that corner, overcook it on the brakes, and uh, we just about remain in uh, in second. So uh, DRS open now, just trying to gain back that time that we lost. <sighs> but uh, yeah, good lord, commentating is hard, isn't it? I'm trying to figure out what on earth to say all the time. But, lap number four now, DRS is open, we go to the right, we go to the left, very classic, classic uh, move there, we go down the inside, and we are now up into first. We are controlling this race now, which is very, very good indeed. As, uh, ooh, the grip, the, uh, the, 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 we're in the pits now. The tire wear has kicked in, so we need to change off these tires once we need a new set of tires. We get a very nice pit stop there. We do get held up a little bit and oh, a little bit of uh, an unsafe release, but the shields don't say anything, so we uh, we shall ignore it. Um. But yeah, coming out into uh, a lot of uh, fresh air, this is, into P12, this is. Um, so everyone ahead of us ne still needs to pit. Um, so once everyone does pit, we shall should be in the, uh, the race lead, or at least really close to the race leaders. As uh, we're trying to warm up these tyres now as quick as we can. Get on that curb. That curb, at least in F2, still like, takes over your car. Then you can't turn. But lap number seven, we. Uh, who's that attacking us? I've got no idea. Porsche just absolutely sails on by. We go a little bit too deep into the first corner. And. Novak actually um, overcuts us, which is uh, well, obviously not ideal, but. That has happened, so we have to uh, we have to deal with it. So third place now, um, but as I said earlier, podium is still still possible, probably I think. Um, as we do, we go down. No, we don't send it down. We try to uh, make him go defensive there, get the tire line in, get the tire line, but we will run out of room. And uh, we have to tuck in behind once again, overtake during the uh, DRS as we make a little bit of contact there. And uh, sails up into a almost half spin there, but we managed to catch it and uh, continue. But that does mean we did lose a, a fair bit of time. Lap 8 now. Um, managed to catch up, we made a little bit of contact there, but no damage was made once again. Um, and yeah, let's hopefully try not to go into the back of him this time. There we go, no contact made, we have a little bit of an oversteer moment there for a, uh, for a split second. But, we now do have the DRS which is now open, and uh, yeah, we're gaining, we're gaining. Not going to make a move into this corner, we're going to get set ourselves up for a very nice run out onto the back straight. DRS open for the second time this lap. And uh, we are gaining. We are gaining. We're getting poor share actually. We uh, stick around the outside. Where do we go? We've got no idea. 
where we uh, where we should go there, but we still remain in third place. We tuck in now to the slipstream. JR is open once again, and uh, and yeah, we go very very close to the wall there. I think we actually did make contact to the wall a little bit on the uh, the right hand side down into turn one, and uh, yeah, Porsche remains in first. We force Navanak to go really defensive, and then we sail on by into up into second place, which is very nice, very nice indeed. And uh, oh my god, getting all over the all over the place as we uh, have to, we were forced to uh, cut that corner there. Um, but yeah, margins to be in second place. Um, yeah. <laughs> what else is there to say now? You, you, you guys can can see what's going on. We need to be uh, we need to be defensive now. Um, we are out of range. Or we were. As we now go to lap number 10, the final lap of this first of three races. Can we get the win. We are in DRS range. DRS will be open for the, for the pretty much the last time to this race. If we go on to the uh, whatever you call this camera. Do we send it down the inside? No, we do not. That's fine, we will just settle in for second place. Second place for uh, our first race of F2, but Porsche wins the first Formula 2 race of the season. We are P2, a very, very solid oh, result indeed. Oliver Berman, our teammate, finishes in P6, a very decent result for him as well. But yeah, with that being said, we now go to the British Grand Prix, and the five red lights tick away. And they go out, and it is racing time. As we uh, we qualify, a terrible qualifying position, by the way, into P22. But right off the line, we make it into P20, uh, immediately making up two positions during this race. As we go down the inside of Leclerc, not the uh, the Ferrari Leclerc, but the F2 one, <laughs> as. Uh, it actually stays with us. We're going to side by side now for a fair few corners. Very, very good racing indeed, but... Nicola opted to uh, back out and uh, stay in our slipstream. As we now try to set up the overtake on Asani. Go around the outside, not making it quite work, though we don't have enough traction to, uh, to make that work, but... Yeah, we're uh, doing the stuff and the things. <laughs> well, so I say, I don't know. Uh, commentating is hard, as we uh, we are right at the back of Nissani there, really, uh, really eager to make a move into Magus and Beckett's, but not making it work. As uh, on the back straight now, as. God, I'm breaking board there got destroyed for some reason. I think an AI broke an advertising board or something. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it would be a much, much better race. We send down the inside of Nisani, finally, at the end of lap number one. We are getting up into P18. Now, if only we had a good qualifying session, we uh, would be... Higher, higher up. Um, oh, excuse me, but yeah. Now looking at the back of Crawford, trying to uh, trying our best to set up a move, really, um, but not making it quite work. As DRS will be activated next lap, and. Uh, yeah, just trying our best not to make any contact. Just have a nice, clean race, because all of these races 
do affect our driver, our personal driver rating, um, which we will see at the end of these three races and at the end of the video. But end of lap number two, we are going to send it down the inside. Be a little bit patient, but no contact made. A very clean overtake in indeed as Theo or table chair has uh, set the fastest lap of the race so far. DRS is now activated and uh, yeah lap number four now current still in p17 just catching up to stanek that that's open answer i do not know and uh yeah again very very close indeed as we actually send it down the inside a very unorthodox overtaking position there as uh yeah we've now got drs which is open which will hope, hope, which will help us for the uh, the straight line speed. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying words now. And uh, yeah, it's trying to catch up as we get our first objective of the game, and it's to achieve twelfth position in two laps, which seems very, very impossible. Um, but we are going to try and push as hard as we can, but at the end of this lap, we are going to try and get the uh, the undercut, and we are now in the pits. We are the only driver in the pits, um, so hopefully this undercut can work out really, really well as we go on to the set of, uh, well it's like hard, but it's not hard. And maybe it is hard. Who knows? Whatever tyres those are. In F2. Whatever they're called. As a, as a very long drive. Down the uh, the pit lane. And. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yippee dippy doo da. <laughs> All the way down. In. Uh, in. 22. As I've said, there's 22 dramas on the grid, which means we are last place. Now it is time to set qualifying style laps and uh, see what we could do by end of lap number 5 onto lap number 6. A bunch of people are in the pits. We haven't got the mini map on, so we don't know where they are. But they come out, out of the pips. The shore is ahead of us. We go very, very deep. Um, just trying to make up a position, but it will turn into the uh, inside now as we do finally make or eventually make a move onto the shore out of the uh, out of that pit lane there. Now Duan is ahead of us. He is our next target as we get very very wayward there. Good lord, we uh, we lose the rear under under heavy braking. Okay, mate. Which invites the shore in, but now it's time for our second objective, which is just to burn as much fuel as possible. Um, as more people now come out of the pits, we once again go very, very deep. The uh, the dirty air from the cars ahead make it so we have uh, less drag coming in, and uh, which means less braking power, basically. DRS activated now. We uh, we managed to remain ahead of Hajar and uh, yeah, up into P14. Not a a bad recovery race so far. And uh, yeah, we we'll see what we need to do now. Essentially, is this lap number eight? A whole lap later from what we just saw. And uh, do doing is very. Slow, actually going into mags. I found the uh, we go down the inside. My God, I'm talking about multiple things at once. But I'll make a very, very smooth overtake into mags and beckers. But I found the, uh, the AI actually slow down a lot into maggots and beckets. So we uh, we made good work of that. And uh, yeah, we are very, very desperate now to make up a spot, we send it down the inside of Cordial, 
if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> Up into P12 now. And, uh, yeah. Two laps left of the race, although it's going to be one lap, uh, one lap left as we uh, come to the back end of that lap. We go down the inside, but we go very, very deep. We hit the back of Corio, how you pronounce it, and we go, we, we spin, we spin. A very, very rookie move indeed. Um, and a very bad mistake that we need to avoid if we want to be in F1. But, last lap of the race now, we send it down the inside of Cordial. Make up the, uh, that place that we lost during that spin. And, uh, for the second race in F1, uh, not F1, F2, Daruvla will win the British Grand Prix, Porsche are in second, but we finish in 11th place. Not the best result, but a decent recovery arrive, as uh, we actually do get driver of the day uh, from this race, but no points were given to us, so which means we are down into fourth uh, position now in the standings, which isn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. So, but now it is time for the third and final race of F2 Journey. It's five round lights are out, and it is racing time here around Abu Dhabi. A whole 12 laps. We uh, qualified in 13th, and into turn one, we remained 13th. Although we're going to make a very opportunistic move into uh, whatever corners these are. Up into 10th, very temporarily, temporarily but 11th uh, into the hairpin. We go deep on the brakes, try to sail it round the outside of Leclerc. We're going side by side with Leclerc for the uh, the second time this series. Um, but yeah, we tuck in very, very tightly to Leclerc, get the slipstream, we pull out to the outside, very, very late on the brakes once again. And uh, we actually sail around the outside. Not only the club, but for sure as well. Uh, so we are now up in to ninth position, which is a very decent sport, at least to start off the uh, the race with. And uh, yeah, but we are not done there. We are putting pressure on Novak straight away. And we will send it down the inside into the final corners here. Up into P8 now. And, uh, yeah. We are gaining a lot of positions, which is very, very good. Because um, we need as many points as we uh, we can get, basically. Um, so end of lap number one now. We go back on board. Um, yeah, oh, a little bit wide there. Still getting used to the uh, the handling model and the uh, the lack of downforce on these F2 cars. So, uh, yeah, a lot of late braking, a lot of going, a lot of going wide. But lap number four now, nothing really happens until now. Um, Novak sails on by with DRS. Okay, but we have a second bite at the cherry as we uh, try to get our, ourselves a very nice exit. DRS open now in the slipstream. Where do we go? And we send it down the inside into that long left hander and uh, get back up into P8. That's very nice. Learn that. Um, but yeah, Bene, how do you even pronounce that? Benavides, Ben, 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 is a head. <laughs> ben is a head. Um, so we're going to try and set our sights on him. Um, but lap number six now, we, oh, end of lap number six. We are in the pits, there's nothing else really happened. Um, about half the grid is in the pits now. So we, uh, oh I, lo I love this camera shot, it's a very nice camera shot. As we actually do get held up 
before uh, releasing there. It's unfortunate, but we thankfully do not actually lose any positions uh, because of that hold up. So, all's well ends well, you know, um, as we are exiting the pit lane. Now, we'll actually make an absolute hash brown of the uh, that pit exit there, but <laughs> we'll just uh, we'll just forget about it. As uh, back on board now, lap, lap number seven, uh, trying to warm up our tyres as uh, as quick as possible to get the uh, the maximum amount of grip that we can. Uh, but lap number eight, this is DRS open one lap later, and. Uh, yeah, just basically joining this DRS train. Um, trying to maybe even think about making a move into that long left hander, which is a, a very fun corner for me to, uh, to overtake in. But yeah, purple sector one, which is uh, very good. Green second sector, which is not too bad. But, um, yeah, we're not really aiming to get the fastest lap. We're just trying to make up as much time as possible. Trying to, uh, well, yeah, trying to catch up, as I said. But, uh, yeah, very nice racing indeed. So, yeah, next episode will be, like, a very a normal format that we do for these F1 videos. Um, as Teo Porsche sets the fastest lap of the race, but we steal it back with a 137.9. Lap number 10 now. We are still behind, but we take, we take a very, very late move uh, on Ben. But we sail it around the outside at the end of uh, that chicane. But he does actually have DRS. So, uh... Yeah, we go a little bit defensive there, him not being able to make a move, thankfully. Um, so yeah, remaining in 7th place this is. Um, two laps to go. Can we do anything else? Probably not, but we'll have to see. Because, yeah. Lap number 11. Ben uh, sends it down the inside. We just try and set it around the outside, but he actually manages to uh, get the position done there. But okay, focus. we remain on the inside and we send it down the inside. A very, very nice move indeed to remain in seventh. And uh, as we now fade away to the last lap of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the last corner of Formula 2, and the start of our F1 journey. Daruvalo wins the F1, F2 Abu Dhabi race, but we come across the line into P7. A decent result indeed, and a decent, decent career, as Teo Pochea wins the F2 Championship. And uh, any racing driver, we have a new Formula Two world champion. There we go. Well, what a year P6, P7 at the end of the race. Not a bad result. We will uh, we'll take those indeed. And uh, yeah, we finish the our career F2 career in sixth place, fifth place actually, I should say. Oh, as I'm stretching. Um, so decent three races. There, as we find out our final rankings before F1, our experience up into 54, Racecraft 77, awareness is going to be 74, our pace going to be 74 as well, and our focus 63, overall rating will be 73, but yeah, those are the, uh, the final ratings before F1. But, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we'll sign for a team and all that stuff. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.